This is a New York City Tesla taxi cab. It's the first and only one in existence right now. It's a Model 3 that has been modified to meet all the standards set by the Taxi and Limousine Commission of New York, and a gentleman named Rami drives it. Rami has been a cab driver in the city for a while and says it was a dream of his to drive a Tesla. I drive Camry before, I drive Sienna. I work in taxi garage. I told him, it's my dream, I drive Tesla. Uh, and one day he gets a Tesla and he called me. He told me, Rami, come and get your wishes here. But wait, how did I end up in his cab? I was riding home from the studio a few weeks ago and saw this yellow beauty parked on the corner of 2nd Avenue and 4th Street. I obviously had to stop and take videos and these pictures, which you seem to really like. I introduced myself to Rami and told him that I wanted to make a video about his car. And here we are. My name is Sam Sheffer, and what you're about to see is a detailed look at this one-of-a-kind yellow Tesla taxi cab. The Tesla taxi is a standard range plus Model 3 that has been wrapped and outfitted with everything found in a traditional gasoline cab. The exterior of the car is obviously the most striking. It's pretty epic to see a bright yellow Tesla with the iconic taxi insignias, including the occupancy lights up top. It's got the metered fare, flat rate to JFK Airport, and the NYC taxi logo decals on both sides of the vehicle. And yes, this cab has the infamous medallion bolted right on the hood. The interior of the car has some more things that you'd find in a standard taxi, including the display back here and the payment terminal. Up front, you've got the meter and a printer for receipts. And because of the current situation the world is in, it has a plastic barrier between the rear passengers and the cockpit. And of course, it's got the giant touchscreen display up front. Rami tells me he enjoys having the cameras activated. It's something you don't really find in other taxi cabs. I see 360 degree. I see my back. I see my other back. I see the lion's butt. I now have no blindness button in this car. Otherwise, this cab has the minimal clean interior that Teslas are known for. So if you happen to be in New York right now or in the future, and you do in fact see this cab, the answer is yes. You can hail it like you would any other taxi. The metered fare works exactly the same as it does in non-Tesla taxis. It's the same price. But let's be honest, riding in a Tesla cab is way cooler than riding in a normal cab. For one, the cabin is noticeably quiet inside a Tesla because it doesn't have a gasoline engine. All you really hear is the hum of the tires on the ground. Also, Teslas are the safest cars on the road. So getting in this specific taxi means you're statistically safer in the event of an accident. It's just something to consider. It's also quite the head turner. While we were filming this video, a bunch of people came up to us sharing their excitement, took photos, that kind of thing. And Rami says this happens all the time. People are really enthusiastic about this car. I get it, I think it's totally warranted. Imagine if there were dozens or hundreds of these Tesla taxis, what that could do to revitalize the cab industry that has just been decimated over the last couple of years. And yes, this Tesla taxi is equipped with autonomous driving capabilities, which Rami demonstrated for me while we were driving around. Now, I'm sure you have more questions, like where does he charge it? How long does it take to charge? And how's the range? I charge in fast charger. I charge. I take like one hour, almost the whole shift. The battery should be, give me 240, mm -hmm. fully charged. But 240, it's not mean 240 exactly. 240, it mean 80 mile drive. Because, especially in cold weather. Rami also tells me that one of the biggest quirks about driving a Tesla taxi are the door handles. He says that passengers are often confused on how to open the doors to enter as well as exit the vehicle. See, Tesla's door handles aren't grabbable unless you push your thumb in and then grab the handle. I can see why people are confused about this. They're flush against the door panel. And then from the inside, the door latch is actually this button, which can be confused with maybe the button to roll the window down. It's all part of the fun though. I think people that actively choose to hail this particular cab probably know what they're getting themselves into. And if not, they're still getting a fun, quiet, and safe ride through the best city in the world. I think it's awesome that New York City got its first official Tesla yellow cab. It'd be great to see more though. And yes, there's already a handful of Uber or Lyft Teslas in New York City, but none of them are official yellow cabs. The more electric cars on the road, the better though. 
it's important to continue reducing carbon emissions. And what better way to do it than by deploying an electric vehicle instead of one with a combustion engine? Personally, I'd love to see the entire fleet of cabs be replaced, but one car at a time. For now, this one of one Tesla taxi is a part of history. And I'm glad I got to make this video and show you what this thing is all about. And huge thanks to Rami for being so awesome and letting me film this video. If you end up in his cab, tell him I sent you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. Now, before you go, I wanna show you something. In 2020, I did 12 million channel views, which is awesome. Over 11 million of those views are people that are not subscribed to my channel. So if you did in fact enjoy this video, a subscription would be awesome. I'm trying to hit 500,000, trying to hit a million, and every person that clicks subscribe is another person that helps me get closer toward that goal. If you're still watching this, make sure to smash that like button and then watch one of these videos next.